Do you know how the Jayco J flight is built? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. Today we are at Butler RV Centre here in Kamloops, British Columbia, where they are exclusively selling the Jayco brand. So that's all I got here and they are Jayco specialists. So we came here to show you how the Jayco J flight is built. So this is a construction video. In the end, we will put up links to tours of different models and we'll tell you all about them too. We'll also put a link to an adventure or something. You can come along on that. Uh, but you'll find all the numbers and those kinds of things in the tour videos. This is just about the construction. And of course, the links in the description will get you to the uh, research tool that we use and the timestamps and currency converters. And of course, if we're providing you with any value, you can buy us a coffee down in that description. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. So let's get on with it and we'll tell you everything that we have learned about the Jayco J flight. Starting with the chassis, as we always do, Jayco engineers their own chassis, but then gets Leipert to build them. And they do that so that they can uh, get a wider range of floor plans and put the tanks in different places and that kind of thing. So that's how it gets constructed. It has uh, an integrated A-frame. So that means that this piece actually goes back further underneath here, which we can't see, but it goes way back, probably to like about here. And then it has multiple weld spots for that. So that just makes it a little bit stronger. Also underneath here is where the outriggers are and they come off of the chassis frame out to the side so that the wall base is sitting out there onto something. And that those outriggers are about four to six feet apart down the entire trailer. Also, you're going to find that they use actual sheet metal in their wheel wells, which I absolutely love. That is such a great idea and a good way to protect your trailer if there was, God forbid, anything goes wrong with the tires. But Jayco's got you covered there too, because they've upgraded the tires. So they are all Goodyear tires, uh, aluminum wheels, they use Dexter axles, and they do have a leaf suspension. Okay, let's go talk about the floors. Next, let's talk about the floors in the J-Flight. Now, these are stick and tin built RVs. Uh, there is one exception to that, and we'll talk about that when we get to the walls, but the floors are all gonna be the same. It starts with a moisture barrier, and then they have a rolled fiberglass, then the two by three wood floor joists go on top of that, and those are on 12 inch centers. They also uh, duct with sheet metal, the heating throughout that, and then they go to a five eight inch tongue and groove plywood that's screwed down, and then the vinyl floor goes on top of that. Normally, the J flight does not have an enclosed underbelly, but it is an option to put an enclosed underbelly on it. And if you go with that, you get a corrugated uh, one piece uh, plastic that's actually in a channel around the whole perimeter under there so that you don't actually have individual screw points trying to hold it up, but it's actually all the way around held in place. Now then you go, but wait a minute, that's one piece. How am I going to access stuff? They do actually build in access points for you to get at the slide motors. So that's helpful, but I still have the same question when it would maybe be coming to plumbing or some other issue like that. But it is an option to have it fully enclosed. If you choose that, you can also choose their thermal package, which would put foil, reflective foil in the floor and in the roof and it would also allow you to have uh, ducted heating to the tanks in that space. That's not always an option for you, say in the SLX, but it is an option in the standard J flight. Now let's talk about the walls. First of all, take a look at the new graphics package for 2022. Pretty nice, eh? Uh, this is the first 2022 that we've had our camera on, so that's kind of cool as well, and it's very nice. But let's talk about the wall construction. These are stick and tin built, and so inside here you get, let me look, 
two by two wood studs on 16 inch centers. The doors and windows are framed out. And then the insulation is uh, fiberglass insulation, but it's not just rolled out, it's actually uh, cut to go between the studs and then glued in place to hold it there. There's Luon on the inside, and then you get your aluminum siding here on the outside. Now, here's where that other extra option comes in because you've probably seen them out there. You can get a smooth walled fiberglass uh, exterior on a J flight. How that works, because the construction is still the same, the walls themselves are still the same, but they take the fiberglass and they attach it to some plywood and it goes through the pinch roll laminating process and then they attach that to those wood studs. Now, then I said, so what about the end and the front and back walls? How are they made? Because in the aluminum sided one, it's the same all the way around but they say they vacuum bond the front and the back walls when they use that smooth walled fiberglass. So uh, that then leads us to believe that there could possibly be a different type of insulation in there, which would more than likely be a foam. But of course, if any of you have more information that you want to share on that, we would be happy to hear it. Now, you can see that on this particular one, there's no slide, but they do come with slides. So then we need to know how the slide construction works. And I have some of the details and some we still have to uncover. So the floor of a slide in a J-Flight is the only OSB part. And it is actually a very special piece of OSB, thanks to my hero, Josh the RV Nerd, because he is able to provide us with uh, lots of details. So the floor that is OSB in the slides of a J-Flight is actually thicker on the exterior edge than the interior side, so that you can have a more flush floor slide when you're on the inside. So that is a very specially made piece of OSB. Then the walls of the slide, we believe, are wood construction, but they would be a smaller stud. Now, we're not 100% sure on that, so of course, please share, because the ends, the exterior ends of the slide, uh, appear to be a laminated fiberglass. So it is possible that those two uh, have foam insulation in them. So we'd like to hear more. And then of course the exterior is built the same as these exterior walls. And that is the wall construction. Now let's go talk about the roof. <coughs> roof construction on the Jayco J flight is easy. It's just like all the other Jaycos. They use the super strong magnet truss roof. So it is a wood trust roof on 16 inch centers. They have the uh, stronger vertical wood pieces in the trusses and the stronger nail plates in them. They also have a super strong seven inch header that is in place over top of any of the slide openings. Then they have the rolled fiberglass, they have the sheet metal ducting for air, and then they have a three eight inch plywood decking that's screwed down and then the whole thing from corner to corner, side to side is glued and then the die flex topping goes down. So it's glued every square inch of it. Hope you've liked the construction video for the Jayco J flight. If you have, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if we provided you with any value, please feel free to buy us a coffee or a cocktail or something like that. <laughs> Truly appreciate those things. If this is one you're getting, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.